number 34. So in game number 34, we've got the Houston Rockets versus the Boston Celtics. The Houston Rockets have at point guard Trey Young, shooting guard Joe Dumars, small forward Johnny Newman, power forward Kenyon Martin, and at center Moses Malone. Uh, the Celtics, of course, have Michael Jordan at point guard, Kobe Bryant at shooting guard, Paul George at small forward, Tim Duncan at power forward, and Kristaps Porzingis at center. That shit corny. Hello, basketball fans. You've got it on 2K Sports as we get set to bring you an exciting NBA basketball game. Kevin Arlen here, joined by our analysts, Greg Anthony and Hall of Famer Doris Burke. Plus, reporting from the sidelines, another Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. Here's the starting group for Houston. Martin is out there with Malone. Then it's Young. Then it's Newman. And it's Dumars in at the shooting guard position. And for Boston, Duncan out there with Paul George. And there's Porzingis, and there's Bryant, and it's Jordan in at the one spot. And so often we have these epic guard matchups, and tonight it's all about the front courts and not the back court. But nonetheless, it should be fun. <laughs> no doubt, Kevin. These front courts are big, they're dynamic, they're physical. A number of these guys can shoot it from great range. This should be one heck of a show. Now here's Jordan. Turned in an outstanding game against Chicago. Right side, George. There's the pass to Persingas. Just five to shoot. Woo! Persingas! Persingas has got the first balls up on the board for the Celtics. Young pass to Newman. Up top, Dumars. Passes it to Newman. Shoots from 12. That one doesn't go. And the Celtics going the other way now. This game coming on the heels of their win against Chicago. Oh, we got them. They, they came into that game looking to be physical, looking to control the boards, and first they succeeded. That control of the boards, I felt, fed their offense. There were a ton of second chances, a lot of confidence their bigs could dominate the glass. First one falls for Boy, this hurts to have to bring up, but I was there. Rockets title winning days. Back the way, in dude. 94, when I was with the Knicks, trying to give daps to my teammates. This guy's just in standing the in the way. First hand. Second free oh, throw. What is that? Back to back titles for the Rockets in the mid 90s. You were just talking about that. Ooh. Greg, what sticks out to you about those teams? First and foremost, the dream. Uh, Hakeem Olajuwon. He doesn't get his due at times, but we got a mismatch somewhere. Defense really changed games. Now here's Porzingis. Steady offensive output from him, averaging more than 16 points a game. And good. Ooh, there we go, Kobe. Kobe. Off the right side of the rim. On offense, the efficiency of Bryant is really something else. He always seems to have a different type of shot up his sleeve. Here's Newman. The kick out to Dumont. Give me that. Ah. Malone. Yes, by Malone. The and the tried to steal that. Giving him the Dumont. space he needed to get to the rim. For sure, GA allows him to come in with the sledgehammer. Boy, that's a play you just practice time and time again, and that's the result of the work put in. Whatever, yeah, whatever. This is what happens when you have a score like the center's the like covering Porzingis. They just like they stop at the free throw line, and he runs right by them. It's so strange. I mean, I'll take now, it. Here's Dumont. We saw him with 19 points his last out. Malone misses. That's another miss. Already they've missed three out of four to start. Jordan kicks to George. It's stolen. I was stuck in my icon passing. I wanted to shoot it. Here's Newman. Defended by George. Malone. Great positioning on the put back. Malone's got his second bucket of the night. A hard blue collar work ethic on display. This guy just beating everyone to the ball. Outside, George. Martin against Duncan. I should have shot that. Pulls up on the wing. It's not going to go for him. The Rockets go the other way with it. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Alden. Thanks. Earlier, I spoke with Stephen Silas. 
This is the first meeting of these two teams, so he didn't know exactly what to expect. But he does know that he wants his guys to attack offensively. He feels their success on that. That's off. Will dictate the success what? Of the game. Any Mon Kono picks and shoot him? Pull up jumpers? What on. the hell? Sounds like they're going to do what they can to get this offense rolling. Yeah, they'd like to get out to a fast start, establish a little bit of rhythm and pace right up front. Yeah, they, they can come out and dictate the tempo. That's to their advantage. And a whole new group out on the floor for the Celtics. <laughs> McGrady outside. Down low, deflects the pass. Can be passes to Isaac, just five on the clock. From 15 feet away, that's good chin, good chin. Isaac. How about the handles of Jonathan Isaac? Outstanding job reading the defense and taking what he sees. Murray dishes to Johnson. Pass to Mark. Off the left rim and out. Boy, he was wide open. You wonder, did he overthink it? That's a missed opportunity. Dude, what? that was early? God, I held on to that forever. Here's Murray. Really struggled in the loss against Indiana. Isaac left shot. Nice. Nice way. Nice running the floor. I like to see it. I like to see it. So savvy finding the open man. 34 seconds left in the first quarter. Johnson outside. With the floater. A shot missing. Isaac with some nice D. Celtics leading by five. Shot by McGrady. Come on. No one missing. Murray scanning the floor. Pass to Beck. And Carroll grabs the board. Boy, that's close. He's almost all had it. Boy, that's a pretty good defense. That count? He knocks it down, but wait a minute. I don't know if that counted. Are getting together. They may I think it was too late. This one. And indeed, they're going to look at it again. They need to be certain he beat the buzzer. Yeah, it's hard to tell on that one. And so a good time to go to the replay and just to make sure if he got it off on time. Oh, he might have gotten it off. That is close. And the call is going to be over to him. The second. Yes. Count it. Nice. Beat the clock. Yeah, they're glad they're going to get those points. They want to do all the road. They want to look at it on the monitor. But three plays here, and it's here to stay. For situations Six. just like that one. And so it's the Boston Celtics heading to the bench with a seven point lead as we wrap up the quarter. They've been playing some inspired defense, giving up very few easy points. Back to the action in just a minute. And your Celtics youth And hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. And the Celtics guys, what jumps out to you, Stats Wise? You got to credit their defense, communicating, rotating, making plays on the ball. Yeah, I think they wanted to come out of the gate strong, and they have. They've taken the early lead here. Rockets trailed by seven. This is how the floor looks for the Rockets starting the second. They've got Malone. Two Mars is out there with Young. Then there's Martin. And it's Johnson in at the three spot. Now the pass to Young. Here's Malone. It's hauled in by Duncan. I'm sure he's kicking himself. He hates to blow that kind of opportunity. George against Johnson. Duncan right side. Outside for Jordan. Four on the shot clock. There we go. The assist by Duncan. I think he was open for a while. I wanted to throw it. I wanted to put it up with Duncan, but it was like awkward. So I saw Jordan in the corner. Or on the wing. I'm like, let me throw it to Jordan. 
inside Malone. Over Duncan. Malone. Wow. Oh. Malone. Moses Malone, Malone hitting jumpers. Six. At this point Three. in the game, yeah. right before the playoffs, Doris, is anyone really playing at 100%? And is anyone really healthy? Uh, Kevin, it's an interesting question because the 82 game season is a real grind. And inevitably, there's bumps and bruises, sometimes more serious injuries. The key is can teams find the appropriate balance? I tried to do that stupid hook and it being ready. You went straight. So I don't get it. You, they'd rather be rested than ready. Let's check in with our reporter, Jay. I tried to do that turnaround hook and he Thank you very much. Just lays up right in his in face. Rebuild and they have a young roster which is taking its lumps. But Coach Steven Silas says we very rarely give up. This team has a lot of fight, character, and grit, and we are learning. Kevin, it's a long process. It's worth doing. Yep, no shortcuts, David, but the journey is the reward. <laughs> They're building from the ground up. It's, it's a fun to watch. We thank you for that story. Yeah, yeah catching the defender there off balance. Personal. Jordan with the great strength to five. convert through contact. Let's see what he can do there at the line. Michael and a chance to catch up on some numbers and with scoring breakdown shot. for the Celtics. How about the ball movement so far? I mean, the unselfishness, everyone here just playing for one another, and that can be infectious. Yeah, and their assertiveness in the paint so far tonight has been impactful. They're really making it hard for the interior defense. Now, here is Young. He's coming off a 25-point game against the Pacers in Indianapolis. And his court vision was extraordinary, too. Let's not that was a block, that. right? Oh, was, I, for a second, I thought it was a foul. Newman's checking for the Rockets. Johnny Newman. Here's Malone. 20 points for him last game against Indiana. Six to shoot. The charge, Central right? Young gets the whistle oh, yeah. that time. Three. That's foul number two for him. We know the That's NBA is exploring second. alternate That's broadcasts for selected games, allowing users to pick their commentators. Doris, <laughs> can you and I be nervous? <laughs> I think I've ever seen a block hit the uh, scoreboard or a shot clock. The Come on, my man. The fans know they need to listen to Kevin Harlan. You are, Doris, way too kind. Coming from you, a Hall of Famer, are you kidding me? You feel like I got an ice just now. I'll do the analyst, and you can do the play. Who's that guy wearing ice skates? <laughs> Kevin, love it. And for those of you just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Pass to Malone. And a lot of contact. Man, that's a hard foul. Here. Two here. Two here. Two here. Two here. And Malone excels at putting herself in a great position, really on both ends. Just a dynamite rebounder and interior score. Two shots. Free throw drops for Malone. Look at that. Uh, Les on that dude that came off the bench? Who the hell is that? And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Austin laden by nine. Second quarter of play with almost three minutes gone. Porzingis finds Duncan. Lets it fly. And that one is good. Duncan just superb when he gets in close to the basket. He has a number of moves to choose from. And that soft, delicate touch. Oh the shit! And he takes that one what the hell happened there? As soon as I switched to Duncan, the guy flew by him. Hard not to get motivated, GA, right when your teammate makes that kind of play. Where was the defense? No help. You can't afford to give up these kinds of buckets. Here's Bryant. The Rockets making the shot, and that comes off the assist Kobe. by Duncan. Kobe's got the lead up to 11 now for Boston. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. I got came up with the double. I should have kicked it back out. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes played. Pass to Brunson. And here's Malone. Goodbye, Porzingis. And Murray now. Ooh, give me that pit. Porzingis with uh, the steal. And out of bounds as the Rockets gain possession. Austin making some changes. Bangaro's checked in for Duncan. 
McGrady comes in for Kobe. And, and that was quick for Brunson. In, for Michael in and out. And a switch here also for Houston. Halliburton's checked in. And uh, almost four minutes gone here in the second quarter of play. Boy, the wheels have definitely fallen off in this quarter. He cannot buy one. Here's Bell, and contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Nice work to get it inside and draw the contact. Austin shooting their first attempt at the free throw line tonight. They, they really, they haven't been able to differentiate themselves from the free throw line on the season at about 76%. Good on the second free throw. And Houston calls their first time out of the game. Trying to snap them out of this little slump. Just feels like the basket is looking awfully small to them right now. They're having a hard time getting anything to fall. Jonathan Isaac is checked in for the Celtics. And let's give it up for Boston Zone Celtics. And so is Halliburton, who brings up the ball for the Rockets. Down by 12. To Newman. Come on, get on him. Good rebound, good rebound. The Celtics have gotten four of their first five shots to fall in the second quarter. Outstanding shooting. Smith surveying the D. Isaac passes to Van Carroll. Six on the shot clock. Rebound goes ah, what is that shot, Boy, though? I'm trying to do the turnaround hook, and he's good enough to prevent that just bucket. Putting up a one-handed set shot. Halliburton against McGrady. To the middle. Here's Beck. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. I'll tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. Second team foul. It's his first trip to the line. At the line for the Rockets. Byron Beck. At the line for two. The first free throw is good. And the Rockets making a change here. Johnson's checked in. So he picks up just one from the line that time. Yeah, in this quarter, they've had the right approach. Driving and drawing. Initiating contact. Create opportunities. Get to <laughs> I cannot hit shots to save my life with McGrady. Holy shit. Halliburton outside. The pass to Malone. It's Halliburton with the assist. Malone's got 10 points. Halliburton's vision and then the ability to thread the needle. Man, that was easy. I didn't even put a move on that guy. I just went right by him. Oh, boy, to be young again. <laughs> Makes you nostalgic, doesn't it? And we've reached halftime in this one. Celtics lead by 11. We're going to step away briefly, but get you right back out here for the start of the third quarter after our halftime. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back, everybody. This home crowd is elated about what they've seen so far. I'm Ernie Johnson. That's Shaquille O'Neal. That's Kenny Smith. Out in front of the half is Boston. They lead by 11. And Shaq, what are your thoughts on Boston? The production they've gotten for the bench has been phenomenalistic. I don't know if that's a word, but it sounded good. Phenomenalistic. It's important to any team success. They're demonstrating that. And who knows? It might get the start as a kick in the pants. No one wants to be outshot. And over to Kenny. What did you think about the Rockets? Well, it's never fun. You're playing against the team that's on fire. This team was on fire. They showed effort on defense. And it didn't matter. Man, 65%? I'll take 65. I don't think the opponent could sustain this kind of shooting. And that's going to do it for our halftime show, sadly. Third quarter about to start. See you again after the final. Horn. Oh, buzzer. All right, fans, give it up. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. One of the stories here, Moses Malone getting it done today. In those first two quarters, he was pretty much an automatic bucket getter if he got it down low on the block. 
Well, you can see why they would continue to play through him. He had nine shots in the first half. Holy shit. That is a lot of shots. Just great work. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. They've got Paul George. Jordan is out there with Bryant. And there's Porzingis, and it's Duncan, and it's the force back. And oh my God, he caught the shit. As we begin this second hand. And that's the battle they haven't been winning today. Their work on the glass has been porous, and that's got to change. Here's Newman. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the Hello? board yet. Oh, we got Here's a mismatch. Malone. Yes, it is. Or that is a bucket. Number five on a five for 11 night. And Malone, a high percentage score when he gets it in deep. Once he's got the defense on his back, the game becomes easy with his ability to score. Jordan gets to Bryant. Right on the bucket. There you go, Kobe. Kobe's got seven points in the game. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. One thing we've learned in the NBA, the game is never over. So you've got to continue to score, continue to build your lead. Here's Dumars following the basket by Kobe Bryant. Young finds I got to stay on Moses. I got to play him straight up. Oh. And he Come on, on Duncan. What's happening there? Martin's got his second bucket of the night. Teams nowadays tracking deflections in addition to steal. Were they something you were aware of when you played defense, Fred? Yeah, even if they weren't tracked, uh, they were valued. And, and I remember early in my career, that was something with the Knicks that would always emphasize because deflections were a true indicator of activity, especially defensive. Now, here is Young following the miss by Michael Dude, can Jordan. I get a... Outside Dumars. Like, can I get a hand on the ball? This is it to Newman. Oh, here we go. Steal. And now Bryant pushing it up. No one back to stop. Oh, of Bryant breaking away and not letting anyone get in his path. I'll be mean mugging him. The Rockets, in addition to going over the game plan and making whatever necessary adjustments have to be made, Greg, this time out also the time for players to get hydrated or hydrated for the first time with some Gatorade. Plenty of basketball still to be played here, and they have to get recharged. That's a great point. Without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas. Oh, man, his shirt is falling apart. Of a, of a game. And that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have got to be hydrated. Marcus Camden, he's checked in for Boston. Jalen Brunson, he's checked in for the Rockets. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Jaylen Hall of Famer, Brunson. David uh, I was going to kick that out to Thanks, Kevin. Paul George in the corner. Tracking in the court, but now shot tracking is helping players refine their strokes. Yeah, that's a weird looking block. Misses, but the arc and the depth and the left to right direction of shots. These systems provide instant feedback to shooters and help them find the bottom of the net. Kevin, back to you. Sign me up. I, that, is a, that is a fascinating story. David, thank you. Now here's Jordan. He has six. Back to Canby. Find the shoot. And here's Kobe from the arc. Here we go, Kobe. He's it from three-point range. Kobe's got the lead up to 14 now for Boston. Outside Dumont. Martin the best to Brunson. And he lobs it up. No. Get the hell out of here. That was stupid. Getting that deep position and put on the hard hack there and attacking the rim. Second half of play, and we're three minutes into the third here. Two can be dishes to Jordan. Third. Two minutes outside for Kobe. No, oh, that was slightly early. Well, the defense clearly was not interested in guarding him from downtown. They're very fortunate he missed. Dumars. Ooh, okay, Joe Dumars. Dumars got his first two points of the night. Okay, nice job here in the second half. Field goal percentage is way up from what it was at halftime when it was just barely above 30%. Now, here's George. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Shoots it. The shot's good from Jordan. And it's just beautiful form on MJ's jumper. A part of the game he polishes more and more every year. Brunson scanning the floor. 
It's Young on the wing. It's rebounded by Camby. Austin leading by 12. In the corner, George with it. Jordan outside. Outside, Kobe. Damn, I got to get the mark. <sighs> and he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. Here's Brunson. It's hauled in by Duncan. Duncan's got four rebounds now tonight. Pass to Jordan. Duncan outside. For three, Kobe. And it's Malone with the rebound. Malone's got his... Kobe's got some easy ones, man. He's got some easy ones. I got to hit those. I post young. Jordan's there. On the wing, Jordan. Get in there. Hey, on, baby. Chance at the line for one more coming up. It's impossible to stop Paul George. He is such a strong guy who knows how to play. Second personal foul. At the line, Paul George. At the line, shooting one. I can remember Paul George's free throw release. Yeah, it's kind of slow, and that was bad. Shit. Paul George, one of those players the media appreciates because he doesn't give you accurate answers. When you ask the question, even with the shot meter on my free throws, I'm still so shaky. And as we end the third quarter, a double-digit deficit will make it tough to come back. Austin Dude, he literally caught that shit mid-air. And after a quick break, we're gonna come right back with the left hand the block quarter. off off the shot clock. And while we can now, let's take a look at today's State Farm assist of the game. What do we got for assist of the game? He's always been uh, the favorite to bag this honor. These kind of feeds are his bread. And oh, that's that play I just ended that quarter. Great point guard play is so critical in today's NBA, and you see it right there on display. And there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. So on the floor for Houston. Murray out there with Hellebert. Then it's Newman. Then there's Martin. You've got to find a way to get yourself going in some other way because hoisting from three is not the answer. I felt good early with Kobe, but... They get late. on it. Back to Murray. Past quarter's been a mess. Now the dish to Martin. Halliburton for three. And Boston with the rebound. Persingas has got five rebounds tonight. What the hell was that? I have no idea what just happened. Murray. Pass to Newman. Here's Beck. Guarded by Kobe. And Beck. Ah, I jumped too early. No doubt. I jumped way too early. A ton to help his team, but he's going to have to do even more if they want to have a chance to get back in this one. Hill. McGrady outside fires at the elbow. That one a little long. It's Hill on the wing. Offensive rebound. The pass to Ben Carroll. What? He hit him in the back of the head. What the hell? How kind of pass was that? Again, Look at that. This is Back to Halliburton. Side mark passes to Beck. Give me that. Over That's all. The shot by Beck is no good. Yeah, but the hand in the face. It's critical that you contest his shots every time down the floor. What is this play? Bryant looking over the floor. Here's McGrady. Yeah. And they call the foul. There you go, McGrady. The and one chance here to make it a three point play. Kevin just continues to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Tracy, in a moment, I'll quickly take a look at the offensive approach of Boston. 
and they're playing beautiful basketball right now racking up the assists by playing so unselfishly just finding the open man the other thing that's been impressive is really just relentless driving the basketball. Doesn't matter if the defense is there. They are challenging them and getting it done. Here's Ooh, Newman. Good hand by McGrady. by McGrady. Jordan finds Duncan. It is it, Duncan? Oh, my goodness. The strength from the big fella. Duncan just out-hustling the defense and finishing through the contact. Personal foul. Second team foul. At the line, Tim Duncan at the line with one shot. Yo, Mark, hello. Ah. No good. What's going on, Mark? Quiet intensity. Oh, shit, guy in the corner. Trey Young in the corner. Ah, come on, we got to get that guy. We got to get out to the, to the corners. As they're trailing. And here is Jordan. Oh, easy. Easy, too easy. How is your Boston team doing? We are currently 27 and 6. About to go 28 and 6. And we gotta take a second look to admire that outstanding block. And this is how you protect and grow a lead by making a huge effort on that end. Of there you the go. Get yeah. Yeah. Oh, get that shit out of here. Off the glass. Wow. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. 158 left to play here in the fourth. Mug Brady up top. Up top for Singus. Too so easy. That's great. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's pretty good. Um. Looking to close Took me a while to get used to this um, this level, the backbreaker. but well, at this point, we're so playing on All-Star. I'm not exactly sure what the highest level uh, in 2K is, but this isn't default. This is like the one level above default, so. Yeah, and his percentage from the field tonight just uh, My amazing. team is a thumb that we got eliminated in the playoffs in the first round. No shit, huh? His spots, and, and you need that kind of patience and discipline to shoot as well as he had. And with the you couldn't stop Kobe? Oh, man. To stay in peak form I got Kobe on my team. I did a uh, Legends Fantasy Draft, so I have Kobe on my team. Young against Jordan. Young do you do um, a Fantasy Draft? Or oh, do you do straight up? Oh, give me that. Celtics leading by 18. And, and so just rolling to the finish line now in what has been a very confident-looking performance for Boston. A beautiful pass doesn't always get you on the highlight reels, but there were some spectacular dishes in this game. But you know what? Uh, yeah, fan of that. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, I do the same. I download a Legends roster, right remove all the duplicates, and, and then I do a fantasy draft from there. To 28 wins. A very solid win indeed. And when you check out the box score, there were some great numbers for Perzingis. Well, you couldn't help but notice. Who was on your team? Who was on Oklahoma City? Them. There was an intimidation factor thanks to his defense. Give me that. No easy shots in his neighborhood tonight. On the wing, George. This ball moved by Boston. Porzingis finds George. Bryant in the corner. Dude, Kobe oh, is cold. He's cold. And here's Young. He'll bring it up for the Rockets. There's 25 seconds left in the fourth. They need this one. The second chance effort. Malone, no luck. Jordan against Malone. Wow, he's an idiot. And you can sense that these fans, these players, they are ready to celebrate. Well, for all intents and purposes, this game is over. Just a matter of time. Here we go. There's another one on the board. Another one on the board. 28 and 6. Appreciate just what a clinical performance they put on. I know their fans appreciated it. And we saw at times just stretches of support. So um, what's the um, what's the construction of your league? My league is 35 game seasons. 
for Greg Anthony, 35 game season in five minute quarters, so I can play as many seasons as possible. What do you do? You play full 12 minute quarters and full 82 game seasons?